Hagi Future is uh, an initiative. It's an organization that, especially for refugees, that come to the Netherlands. Uh, I think it's mostly Syria, but it's from other places as well. People who have left their countries involuntarily to pick up a new skill, hopefully. So Hack Your Future teaches them computer programming, web development, CSS and HTML, and you learn the basic about it, and then JavaScript, of course, and help them to find jobs. These are people who had some unfortunate circumstances perhaps and are trying to do something good for themselves and for the world. I'm proud of myself that I could learn it, although I came here only the weekends and, uh, you know, I came from different continents altogether, different job market, different language, different domain of uh, work and everything. So we get a lot of students and they actually, they tell us that they're pretty bored because they're, you know, in those camps all the time and that's, you know, quite a long time and they express how sort of happy they are to come here and to even be here. But so this, this day, it influenced my whole week. The whole, so my life has been changed because before I was, so I was in the camp and uh, I had nothing to do, like I had no laptop. You give them train tickets, uh, we give them a computer. You give them not an understanding of a programming language, but an understanding of problem solving and how to connect the things and the tools that we're giving them to situations in the real world. I am stick to this program for six months and I make sure that I don't miss a class. I feel like I have to do more, I have to study more, I have to read more. So each Sunday I'm looking forward just to come to the class. The background of people does not matter. And that's why I think that teaching refugees something that is useful in the real IT world is very important. Because for me, we are all equal, and we are all, we all has uh, like we have uh, goals and we want to achieve it. And uh, refugee just just a word. I think in in calling them students, you focus on that they're actually, you know, they're going somewhere, they're trying to achieve something. This is only one day of the week. <laughs> I talk about this 80% of the time with other people if I talk about my work. I cannot live without teaching. And I think it's been equally a learning experience for me as I hope it's been for others. And, uh, thank you for taking us and thank you for being our friends and family. Yeah, this is from heart. <laughs>